Hello and welcome to another Roger 365 tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to configure a WhatsApp for Business number obtained via cm.com and direct the messages to Microsoft Teams. To begin, make sure you follow the steps from our Getting Started series of video tutorials. After you've onboarded with cm.com and obtained your WhatsApp for Business number, log into their portal and browse to the dashboard. In the Channels section, click on the green WhatsApp icon. Under Channels on the Your Channels tab, click on WhatsApp Business. Under Business Profiles, your WhatsApp number will show active when it's ready to use. Click on the profile and scroll down to the Incoming Messages section. Click on Add Destination and select Webhook. Choose JSON as the content type and fill in this URL. Click Save. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, then select and copy your unique API key. This completes the cm.com configuration. Now we'll finish the setup using the roger365.io admin portal. In the left navigation bar, select Touch Points, WhatsApp for Business, and click on Add WhatsApp Touch Point. Enter a friendly name, select the correct time zone, choose the service provider, in this case, CM. Paste the API key that you copied earlier. And fill in your WhatsApp for Business identifier, which is your WhatsApp number exactly as shown in the cm.com portal. Finally, click Add. From here, we need to create a flow. In the left navigation bar, select Dialog Handler and click on Flowchart Designer. Click on Add Flowchart from Library. Insert a name and a description for the flow. Select the earlier created WhatsApp touchpoint from the drop-down list. Select a template to use from the list. In this example, we'll select WhatsApp to Teams plus Sentiment. Finally, select the Teams touchpoint where the messages should be delivered. If you haven't connected a Teams channel yet, refer to our video Connect Teams Channel to Roger365.io, available on YouTube. And now, click Create. The required flow has been created automatically. Click Save. Go back to the WhatsApp touchpoint in the left navigation bar, Select the newly created flow from the list and click Update. Now we're ready, let's do a test. When I send a WhatsApp message from my mobile phone, it immediately appears as a conversation in Microsoft Teams. You'll want to assign an adaptive card to display contact information within the Teams channel. Refer to our video, Adding an Adaptive Card, also on YouTube. 